as we know, market structure itself, you know, we have our normal uptrend, which has key points, higher highs, and higher lows. Okay. And we have our overall downtrend, which has lower highs and lower lows. Okay. Highs and higher lows. Okay, so a few things that you got to keep in mind when structure is actually done, which is the break of structure, which is when the market actually breaks a higher low point right here, which looks like this. When the market breaks a level of support, it creates two bearish candles, which pretty much closes over that level of support, which is based off this time frame, which means that if this is based off of H1, then structure has to be doing this to actually break that point on H1, okay? If I see um, this kind of move around uh, M30 chart, that's invalid, okay? So we wanna keep everything that we actually do on one time frame on that time frame itself. If I do my structure based off of H4, it has to break structure on H4, which has to do the same exact thing. Okay, and this video right here is, is, is definitely after um, Fibonacci for a reason itself, because Fibonacci does play a major part in structure itself. Um, some other variations that, that can actually happen in structure also that people fail to realize that the market doesn't always have to create you know, higher highs and higher lows, right? This right here is the, you know, the original, the general, you know, uptrend, but then you could have variations, you could have lower highs but still maintain the uptrend main reason is because the market itself is still creating higher low points all right here all higher low points so the, so overall the uptrend will still be maintained because this was not being broken okay up until the market itself it breaks a level of support which is a higher low point so as long as the higher low point is not being broken then it's still going to be maintained as an overall uptrend there's times when you could see for example this right here is a descending triangle and overall uptrend do you know why the market itself was it made a higher high here higher low here lower high lower high lower high lower high but on the bottom side it maintained the higher low point that was overall made right here all these other points was just high i mean all the other points were just lows actually lows 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 lower highs up top but that doesn't matter as long as the support level was still being respected same concept that goes in on a downtrend on a downtrend Yes, you can do this, which is a descending triangle, which maintains one level of support the entire time. And on the upside, it was kept on getting lower highs, which, you know, it keeps on making the price less and less and less and less compared to the price scale that's all over here. Okay, so price is still getting stronger and it's still maintaining the trend that's currently in. And then, you know, it gives you another opportunity also to draw, you know, a trend line, which can, which, which can kind of guide you to where the market can possibly find a level of resistance on on the actual trend that you're currently on so trend line itself it definitely helps out it gives you just you know, like, kind of like a path and that path um can create confluence out of market also which can give you um a, like a stronger confirmation of a certain type of setup or a certain type of trend you know and you can definitely take positions off of these points right here so just like how i drew the setup earlier the market can actually do this in this example the market itself was making lower highs lower lows lower lows lower highs but it made that and then it made a level of resistance okay when the market actually retested these areas it made highs 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 even though on the downside yes it made a 
lower low here, and then made higher lows. But the downtrend was still being respected because no lower high was broken, which when a lower high is broken on a downtrend, structure is broken. When a market is um, when a market breaks a higher low on an uptrend, structure is broken. So it's right here is the overall transition phases. So right here is a uptrend to downtrend and a downtrend to uptrend. Okay. So you have our uptrend right here, break a structure, downtrend. Broken structure was right here when a market broke a higher low point. And on this example, so here was a downtrend, which broke the higher low. Right there. Let's start with this. That had to be broken. So market overall transition from an uptrend to a downtrend here and a downtrend to an uptrend here, up on the break structure on the actual charts itself. So First um, selling opportunity after all this right here, after the actual break structure is the first lower high point, which is right here. First lower high point after the break structure. After. Okay. The first buying opportunity after the break structure on downtrend is um, the first higher low point. After break the structure all right so remember to keep in mind just keep things on the same time frame that you're actually analyzing on that's the only way that it can actually be valid um, so yeah it's definitely a lot of things that you can take in, in consideration when you're actually applying structure itself um, this fib like this video also like I mentioned before is after Fibonacci for a reason because when we're actually measuring our retracements market itself can retrace what I said the market can retrace here it can retrace here retrace here retrace here and it can retrace here this point right here is the max that it can retrace because what this right here is considered as a higher low point okay once market breaks that which is also a hundred percent on your Fibonacci this right here is zero percent once market breaks that then structure is broken entirely which is then when you when structure is broken, same concept as we drew before. When structure is broken, you're looking for setting opportunity up up until the market actually has to make a lower low, and then makes the first lower high. All right. So yeah, you're literally using fibs on every single portion of this entire thing. So. Fibs can be used. Fibs can be used. Fibs can be used on every single re retracement, also to actually measure how steep that retracement can go because it has all this room to breathe. 